we go. Wolves have got another three points. We're beating Norwich today. Two goals to one after being one goal behind. And, and a great way to end our campaign before Christmas now. Uh, of course, a few days break up until the 27th where we play Manchester City. But a great victory today. Three points. Uh, we're going to be talking through it uh, today, giving my thoughts on the match as well. Be sure to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new, guys. So, um, game against Norwich, it was always going to be a tough one. I think Norwich are obviously down there at the moment. They're fighting. Um, but we never tend, you know, this season has been not so bad. But there's sometimes, especially after great performances like the one against Spurs, there's been performances where we come into another game, away from home especially, where we just not, don't look quite up to it. And, and that was sort of similar today. We started off with a team you'd expect us to play with Patricio in goal, Cody, then Don Cassace at the back, Johnny and Doc as the wing-backs, Neves and Matinho in the middle, and Jota, Jimenez and Adama as the front three. And the first half was dreadful. Um, really, really poor from Wolves in the first half. Um, Norwich were the better team by far. The Wolves just didn't really have any intensity. They just didn't really look at the races and we looked half asleep. Um, and then Norwich, they hit the post within the first 15 minutes or so. Tete from range. Uh, I think uh, Patricio got a little touch on it, hitting the post, almost rolled across the line and, and, and went wide. Uh, and Patricio kept us in that game throughout the most of the first half. They did eventually get their goal, ball coming in from the left-hand side. Dreadful defending, Sace missed the first clearance. Johnny did sort of clear it, and it was only half clearance. It was dreadful defending by Walls. And Todd Canwell, the youngster who's been in pretty decent form for Norwich this season, firing in from close range. And, uh, and Norwich deserved it, to be honest. You know, it was it was dreadful. The gaps between the defence was poor. Um, we've seen that a lot. And I've, I've mentioned that before with Saiz, Dendonka and Cody. Not overly, none, none of them are natural defenders. So when one of them gets sucked out, as there's just massive gaps being created. And Timu Puki, if he had his shooting boots, could have scored two or three goals today. Uh, he was getting in those gaps quite well. Fortunately for us, Patricio was on form. Uh, Puki couldn't quite you know have get get the chances away and uh, we were let off a couple of times for sure in in that first half but um corners as well first half were I'm not going to complain about it too much cuz I'll explain why shortly but corners were really really annoying as well today um playing it short again I know we have seen goals off us scoring corners but when it's one of the last kicks of the game uh, 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 last kicks of the first half rather and it's a corner kick let's just get in the box let's try and get ourselves back in the game before half time but we played it short ended up losing the ball and that was the first half done so we really needed to bounce back we needed a better performance in the second half and to be honest we did uh, Norwich you know first five ten minutes looked like they, they were okay and it took Wolves a while to grow into the half but finally we did that, get that goal and finally it was a short corner it was Romain Saiz uh, coming in and scoring off the corner. Matinho, uh, and I think it, we played it to Jota. Jota laid it back to Matinho, whips it in and remains safe. So he was very, very dangerous in and around the area. We've seen him score a couple of headers this season so far. And he got that goal to get us back level in the game, um, which was huge. And I think at that point, I probably would have taken a point with how poor we played in the first half because we just didn't look sharp. We didn't look like it, intense enough, like we didn't want to win the game. And to be honest, up until that point, I would have said players such as Doc, Jimenez and Jota, they all really, really disappointed me. They looked sluggish. They didn't really, and nothing was really coming off for them. But that changed. We eventually got that little bit of luck. Um, I know Jota came off for Pedro Neto. It looked pretty lively when he came on, to be honest. He got the ball. Lovely little one-two in Neves. Great crossing from Neto. It was Doc arriving from deep as well. who had a good chance there, blocked and saved. And then Jimenez, in the end, smashing home. Great goal. I know Jimenez is, is not scored in the last couple of games. Um, so great thing to get back on the score sheet as well. And a uh, really, really great turnaround. It's what we wanted. I predicted 2-1. I know a couple of you messaged me actually saying, you need to stop predicting 2-1. It's getting boring. But it came off today. It's just something that I felt as well. Uh, Todd Cantwell in a, in a Norwich um, in a Norwich uh, publication, I said 2-1 Wolves, Cantwell and Jimenez to score. And obviously that came in as well. So uh, yeah, a really positive three points. Although the performance wasn't quite there, there are definitely negatives to take from the game overall and definitely things that we can improve on overall. But there's definitely positives out of that as well. The character, the resilience, the way we've come back and got a huge three points ahead of two very, very difficult games in City and Liverpool. That'll give us a bit of momentum. That'll give us a bit of drive. And uh, to see some players that get performances again 
Um, really, really happy with that. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below anyway. Huge three points for Wolves, although not the most convincing performance, but I really do appreciate all the support that any of you have ever shown on this channel. It's been a great year for us. I really hope you enjoy your Christmas. And if you don't watch anything else before the new year, have a great new year as well. But uh, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Let me know your thoughts. Uh, and until next time, guys, enjoy the rest of your weekend. Enjoy your Christmas and I'll see you all very, very soon.